Hi, my salty pecans, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Pamela, and on today's video, I'm actually, I'm so ready to do this video. I have been ready to do this video for quite a while, and it is <sighs> chopping up my <sighs> philodendron. No, this is my epipremnum skeleton key, okay? So this plant is beautiful. It has like the skeleton key like sort of foliage, but mine has been dying back a lot. So if I show you, uh, can I even, I have to like untangle this plant to just show you how bare it kind of is. Um, 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 um. <sighs> Let me do this show you all what I'm talking about. Oh, okay. Well, I tied it. So let me untie it. And Lola came to join us. Of course. Why wouldn't she? She is our favorite sous chef. <laughs> Cole botanist. Plants and cat. She is. If you just, you want to be seen, you want to say hi to the salty peeps for the intro devo. Oh. good to go okay so let me finish this untangle hey 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 thank you stop it stop it stop it I, I, get out go move you gotta go you gotta go you're doing too much she gotta go she, she, worst intern. She's a great tool, plant and cat, but not very. Okay, so the shedding comes at different points, and I want to just propagate this entire plant. As you can see, it's just, just one long vine, so I'm going to cut this into several different plants, and I'm going to do a perlite propagation. So pre-recording, I washed my perlite out. It's best to wash your perlite out because a lot of perlite, they tend to be powdery and dusty, one, because it's not very good for you to inhale. And two, it's just not all that conducive for your plants to just be in that muck, right, that sandy muck. It's better to give them something a bit more breathable and have more space in it which is the chunkier sort of perlite portion so this is what we're going to do in this video and i also have the cebu blue that i also want to chop up because it too went well this one particularly went through a thrips infestation and lost a lot of its vine look at her hey don't don't mess with me went through a thrips and lost a couple of the branches well not branches but leaves so I'm gonna also chop this and I have a couple of glass containers to put them in so if you just want to do this little repot chop and prop <laughs> with me thank you for watching <laughs> welcome back everybody for someone who wears as much black as I do I don't know how I survive because I'm going to pan you down and you're going to see how white I have just become with just having Lola on my lap for the last couple of seconds so let's pan you down This is what she does. Look at this. Look at this. Alright ma'am. Alright ma'am. And then she's going to try to lay on me and now I have more hair. Ugh. Ugh. Salty pecan roof said you need to, you know, you know, not be such a chonks. 
<laughs> okay, so I have this container. Excuse me. So I have this container and I have the philodendron burly marks in here. And this is like so green and algae and so delicious. And the plant itself has pushed out a new growth leaf. So I'm happy about that. It's rooted. It's so well rooted in here. I pulled it out earlier. So it's so like well rooted already. I'm going to leave it in here for a little bit longer. But as you can see, happy plant. I'm just going to dig a nice little deep hole in there and cover it all of those delicious roots back with her light. All right. And I'm going to keep it in here. But I had this that had some the uh Hoya that Vanessa also traded with me, but that Hoya never survived like that anything, so and this is just space saver. So the reason I kept the pot in there is to just keep the plant from touching the floor of the container and also the wall of the container because I don't want it to get all slimy. So it's going to go in here. I have this. This and this, but I think I'm gonna remove this one and just do two new prop ones. And I'm gonna keep the Burly Marks Fantasy in here along with them. So let me just do a pre measure. Okay, I think we're good to go. Right now, all right. I just put some perlite inside of this container. This one's glass. The other one I was using is plastic, but it's cool. Lola, come on! Then she's gonna get upset because I'm not like giving her what she wants. I'm gonna have to like lock her out, honestly. Moving forward, I'm gonna have to lock her out of this room. So the long strand I'm going to look up to this one I already cut it a couple of well I already cut it once because I already sold a piece before so I'm just gonna do the same thing I'm gonna chop it right here the closest node to that node I've encountered a yellow leaf. Pop that off. This is about to die down anyway, so I've come to this long AF strand. So I'm just gonna do every two. Okay. 
<laughs> you see her in the corner drinking water. I didn't even know she was in frame. I have some extra water in. Oh my gosh. This is my life. I leave it or not. Oh, uh, 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 uh. I don't need. I don't need your inspection. Once she sees or hears water, it's like green light. So, I have a bunch of cuttings. And I also have these in here. I'm going to keep these in here just like that. I'm going to place it back to where it was. And... God. Stop it. Stop, stop, stop. Boom. Fill it pretty high up. And I'm going to honestly just stick it in the container. Oh, these might be a little too long. Dang. Just gonna put them in the container before adding all the perlite and making sure that they are placed the correct side up. This one, I did cut it a little awkward. I'm gonna just This, I'm going to put it in the prop box, the larger box. Fill this with perlite. gonna pop this one I know it's gonna yellow so the plant can just put out as much energy into what it needs to do in here and I'm gonna grab this smaller container and put these smaller ones This cat is obsessed with water. Obsessed. Alright. This one I'm going to put it in here like that. This one I'm also going to just put it like that. Mm, dang, I should have. I'm going to shove that one in there. And that one goes in the prop box. So now I'm just gonna top this with some more of this. I completely forgot about the this one. I have a new growth point right here, so I'm gonna cut right above that. Looks 
So now I'm going to take this away from her. And I'm going to water. Add a bit of water at the bottom of this container. I think I added too much. is this one and this one I'm just gonna put a splash of water and that one's done this one I don't even think it needs much water but I'm just gonna center and then all these this looks like freaking wheelie bugs believe it or not do we have a problem with a little bit more per that All of these are going to go back in here. All right, so I just place all of the containers in here. I'm going to literally cap it and be done with this. So of course, as always, I will keep you all updated with all the progress. My heater's on, but I gotta do the outro, so I do apologize for the excessive hissing. I can't control it. Um, my apartment needs to be heated thoroughly during the below zero degrees weather that I'm currently dealing with. So with that being said, thank you so much my Salty Pecans for watching this video. If you like this chop and prop with me, then give this video a thumbs up. If you like to propagate your plants, have you tried propagating in perlite? I love propagating in perlite. So also let me know what's your favorite propagation method down below. Make sure you follow me on my other social media networks, my other social media platforms at Houseplant, H-A-U-Z-P-L-A-N-T. And I will see you on the next one. Let's get growing. Bye.